Can you see it? How about now? The plant with the berries is called buckthorn. It's at the Chippewa Nature Center in Midland, and it doesn't belong there. Yeah, we try and get rid of it uh, at any and every size that we find it at. Matthew Lindauer is the coordinator for the Central Michigan Cooperative Invasive Species Management Area. His organization just finished surveying 42 miles of the Titabawassee River from near Edenville down to Saginaw. Because of the failures of the dams over a year ago, and we wanted to see if any new invasive species, uh, specifically aquatic ones, uh, had entered the Titabawassee River. They did. In fact, the numbers exploded. They entered, uh, I think, 769 uh, entries of invasive species. As big a number as that may seem, Lindauer says it's not shocking. This is the first comprehensive invasive species analysis of the river. For the first time, they found zebra mussels in the Titabawassee. Autumn olive, curly pondweed, and purple loosestrife were also spotted. There's no threat to humans, just to the animals relying on the river. When all of that is, all of that real estate is taken over by these plants, they have nowhere to land and nowhere to nest. So when you see these big spikes in purple loosestrife, you see dives in uh, waterfall population. Some of the invasive species the report found actually reside underwater. Given the murkiness of the river, they can be hard to spot and even harder to get rid of. They do plan on pulling up some plants and spraying herbicide where possible. They're so pervasive throughout the state that a lot of times it is, you know, how much money and time do you want to spend getting rid of something that is going to be everywhere else surrounding it and eventually move back in. The takeaway for visitors, be aware of the potential effect you may have on your environment. And you take your boat out of the Titabawa Sea River, which now has species X, Y, and Z in it, go into another waterway, empty out those same tanks. Now all of a sudden you've introduced a new species and the spread of the invasive continues. In Midland, Trevor Sahaki, WNEM TV5.